finally, there's the litmus test. Push against the goal. Don't pull. If the goal doesn't budge, it's secure. It is Friday, that means high school football, and what better way to prepare you for tonight's games than to look back at last week and the top 10 plays from week 10 of the Northern Shenandoah Valley high school football season. Thanks guys, yeah, there's gonna be a big switch in the SU special teams department this week, and that is Travis Bishop taking over the field goal duties. Nick Hoover will still remain as the punter and the kickoff specialist, but Bishop was just more confident and just more consistent in practice all week long. So he gets the field goal opportunities this week against Methodist. Welcome back to the Firefighters Parade. We are talking sports and we are talking sports celebrities here at the Apple Blossom. It starts like it should with football. And that is a heck of a drought. Tough, tough break for Coach Mike Bowen and the guys. Nevertheless, the Colonels had a great season. So have we. We've had a lot of fun tonight. We will see you next week for sure. Mike will see you on Sunday with Millbrook Hanley Highlights. Take it easy. Gavin Haynes was born without a left leg, but to see this young man skate, you'd never know it. Getting to be around friends and kids that I've known from other years before and getting to do little competitions against each other. Haynes is one of the many success stories from the Area 13 Special Olympic Roller Skating Program. And while he might skate for the thrill of competing against others, it's working with others where this youngster has grown the most. It's really boosted his self-esteem, self-confidence, and he just enjoys being around with all the athletes. On set. This growing program has almost as many benefits as it has participants. Exercise and improved motor skills are two big ones. But for these athletes, friendships are the best part of a night on wheels. Well, I have a lot of friends here, well, really a lot of friends. And they are a lot of fun to skate with. And we can all win, to I know we can all win together and do our best and have fun. On skates, there's no moment more important than when an athlete lets go of the wall. To some, it may seem like a small accomplishment, but this victory inside the rink does a lot for these athletes' confidence in the outside world. Were you always a good skater? I always have been, ever, ever since I learned how to stay, to, stay, to stay off that wall. What did it take to get you off that wall? Well, a lot of, a lot of discipline and uh, courage. Courage, it turns out, can be found anywhere in this ring, from the athletes' faces to the Special Olympics motto itself. Let me win, but if I cannot, let me be brave in the attempt. In Winchester, I'm Sebastian Salazar, TV3 Sports. At 92 years young, Marvin Reifsnyder is Shenandoah Valley Golf Club's oldest member. And there's no doubt, this World War II vet knows the 27-hole course like the back of his hand. Well, the trees are kind of punishing here, as, as you find out several <laughs> times. A lifelong fitness buff, it should come as no surprise that Reif Snyder oh, lifts dumbbells bit, every morning. You might think it would be tiring for someone his age, but Marv wouldn't have it any other way. All my life I've been a fitness fiend. That's, it's always been the most important thing to me. Because uh, if, if you have your health, uh, you can enjoy almost anything. If you don't have it, uh, life is kind of a bore, I would think. An accomplishment most golfers hope for once in a lifetime, Marvin has scored under his age on plenty of occasions. He's also got two hole-in-ones on the same par three on Shenandoah Valley's red course. But for Marv, it's never been about a scorecard or records. Just having fun. I just enjoyed sports. Uh, and they didn't upset me too much. Uh, you know, you get frustrated no matter what your sport you're, you're playing, but you got to remember it's just a game, and uh, you're out there to have fun, enjoy yourself, and get a little exercise. Marvin's wife of 69 years, Virginia, passed away early last year, and Marv acknowledges the time since has been real tough. But he says staying busy, both on the golf course and singing karaoke with his buddies at the American Legion, has kept them going. I like karaoke and I'd like to sing, but I, I'm, uh, I'm a little dubious about uh, my, my uh, talent in that direction. I don't think I have much of a voice, but uh, it's, it's a fun thing, and that's the only thing uh, that ever get me to do it. <laughs> but uh, I, I enjoy it. On this beautiful day, Marvin and I only had time to get through nine holes. But in the battle of youth versus experience, well, let's just say Marvin's knowledge of the course held up just like he has for all these years.
Ross Matheny is a big time college football prospect, a young man who this time next year could very well be signing an athletic scholarship. Yet the Sharando quarterback points specifically to the ultra competitive world of high school recruiting as a reason some prep players might choose to take performance enhancing drugs. I think uh, recruiting that kind of thing has you know evolved so much over the years that it's kind of you know a little bit getting out of control you know with you know these ESPN things and everybody's kind of cameras and, and all these teenagers faces and everything and um, you know without a doubt the temptation can be there. National surveys put high school steroid use at anywhere between 1 and 4 percent of student athletes. Numbers small enough that steroids aren't actually the main concern when it comes to performance enhancers. Instead, it's the wide open and unregulated industry of supplements. Anything in excess could be bad. E even normal vitamins that we our body uses in huge doses can be toxic. A lot of things that are labeled as supplements don't come under the regulation laws of the FDA and there's no real verification of what's actually in a lot of supplements that are sold. They're frequently imported from foreign countries and there's no telling what's in those substances. As far as the message these kids are getting, obviously, they're being told steroids are not only unhealthy, they're also illegal. But instead of telling kids what they can't do, area coaches have come up with alternative methods for youngsters to get the same results they'd see from taking performance enhancers, yet in a healthy and more natural way. From a coach's standpoint, you know, we, we've always t taken the stance, at least here at Sharando, um, you know, that you can get everything through your diet if you eat properly um, to get what you need in terms of um, for recovery and also for gains muscularly and, you know, for your athletic ability. So anything that you put into your body that's not made naturally through proper nutrition, you know, you take that risk on, you know, harmful effects down the road. Working on a separate story last week, we hung out with a group of competitive powerlifters that train right here in Winchester. In their world, rumors of steroid and human growth hormone use run rampant. But even these men of amazing might say staying 100% natural is the only way to be safe. I think it is sad that there's a lot of people that feel that they have to do drugs to compete. Um, you know, uh, I'd do anything I could to talk somebody out of going that avenue. So while professional athletes continue to dodge the million dollar question of whether or not they've ever used performance enhancers, you'll at least know this. Kids here in the Shenandoah Valley are being given every tool possible in their fight to stay strong in the battle against steroids.